candy. Spit out the popcorn and tell me what's going on. What do you mean? Becky, contestant number two, isn't here yet. Oh no. And now it's time for our favorite reality renaissance game show, Art Attack. Now let's meet the contestants. First up, we have Becky Da Vinci, or as I like to call her, Becky Da Vinci. <laughs> that was a y'all and knee slapper. Hi, I'm Becky. I like squirrel watching. And, and, oh, I really like tying Velcro shoelaces. Was that too weird? Do you think you'll win these games? I mean, I, mean, I want to. I mean, I hope so. I mean, I don't want anyone else to lose, though. It'll feel bad. Um, yes? I can't do it. Next up, we have Maggie Van Gogh. I wish Cindy would Van Gogh away. Hi, I'm Maggie. Okay, cut, hair and makeup. Ma'am, this is live. Aw, oh, Cindy! It's okay, just go, just go, just go. Hi, I'm Maggie. I like the internet and whale watching. Do you think you'll win these games? <laughs> no. Siri, what's the renaissance? Cindy, can you tell me the answers? Okay, let's meet our final contestant, Emma Picasso, or as I like to call her, Emma Picasso Arrogant. Hi, my name is Emma, and I have an 8.0 GPA. I take AP Gym, I take AP Practical Self-Defense, and I take AP Teen Stress Management. I'm also in lots of school activities, like mathletes and other things, but I don't have time to list them all. Do you think you're gonna win? <laughs> Did you hear my resume? Of course I am. 106! 108! guys and welcome back to our next segment of Art Attack. So today we are... What's that Cindy? Put the stick in the hole? No! Okay! No! Don't do that! Okay! Actually, shut up Cindy! So actually, follow me! I'll show you what we're going to be doing on our next segment because actions are better than words. Okay my friend. So no thanks to Cindy, I made a beautiful leaning tower of disaster. Hopefully our contestants will make something a little better, but I gotta admit, this is pretty structurally sound. Hence its triangle shape. Three, two, oh, Cindy. go! All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the field, And they stay there, and they say yeah, and they say there. Cause all I do is win, win, win. And if you go in, it, put your hands yeah. in the air, stay there. Luda, Ludacris going in on the verse cause I never... I made a small, little, convenient little house. A mix of both the Hoover Girls in the 1920s and the Progressive Era's City Beautiful movement to make a perfect little house. I made a gothic church dome that would go on the top and there would be chimes on the little part on top. And this was inspired by the architecture by Filippo Brunicelli, who was a famous architect in the early Renaissance. I think mine is better. Actually, it was a Renaissance challenge and that's from American history and only, re only Renaissance that happened in America was the Harlem Renaissance.
And now it's time for our commercial break. This outfit was very popular because it has a loose shirt with puffy sleeves and a corset, which were very popular because it made the waist small and the chest big. This outfit has a long teal gown and has big, gorgeous funnel sleeves, including a stomacher covering the front of the bodice. This is a wonderful piece. As you can see, there's a beautiful puffy sleeved dress gown. And on top, we have this nice minty green colored cloth with great fabric and an essential layering of the cloths. Okay, for our second challenge, here are the rules. So oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Okay, anyway, for the second challenge, the contestants will each have to paint something that is inspired by the Renaissance time period. Let's go to the games! Oh my gosh, I mean, I'm just so sorry. I'm like, I'm like, I am so sorry. I am so sorry! It's the final countdown! I did mine of a queen and obviously there are a lot of crosses because a lot of the paintings during the Renaissance were commissioned for the church and were of high class royalty. I drew a picture of a city and New York's the only one, like I, the only famous one that I can like, know how to draw so, so like here's the Statue of Liberty. I drew flowers on mine because when they liked Manifest Destiny and stuff, they wanted to move west, right? So. They like nature and they painted stuff about nature. Logic. Um, that's kind of wrong because that didn't happen during the Renaissance. It was the complete opposite because they painted more cities and of high royalty during the Renaissance, whereas during Manifest Destiny they would paint more of the common people and of nature. And you're kind of right with the whole city thing, but that's America. We'll see you after the commercial break. Hey guys, so today we're in the sculpture gardens and we're going to be looking at some fantastic sculptures. Okay, so this is our sculpture made out of recyclable material. This sculpture is very abstract and made out of original materials. Unlike the Renaissance statue and sculptures, which are made out of things like wood and marble. Whoa, look at that! Our next sculpture is this beautiful snake. And as you can see, it incorporates the moss and the nature around it. Whereas statues in the Renaissance usually were standalones and did not encompass Mother Nature. Unlike the Renaissance times, where a lot of the sculptures were based on religious or mythological creatures, here is some abstract modern art. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of the sculpture gardens and I'll see you there! Okay, for our next challenge, we're going to have the contestants each go individually and improv to some classical music. I think I won that competition because, like, did you see how they were dancing? My dancing was all <laughs> ballet type stuff because ballet was invented in the early 1600s, which is like the Renaissance. 
I did modern dance, so I just worked it. I just wanted to be like the hippies in the 60s and sway to the harmony. We'll see you after these words from our sponsors. I'm right here, babe. In Renaissance times, I couldn't have performed because I'm a girl. So a man would have had to use two different masks and pretended to be me. Come see our modern version of Romeo and Juliet at the Poppins Theater. Keep it poppin'. Question. What is a complete building that has designs from Renaissance architecture? Um, I think it was the Eiffel Tower because that's like in Europe, right? No, no, it, it, it's like the White House. Because of the White House, it has like it has the dome and like the columns. Yeah. Um, no, it was the Basilica of San Lorenzo. Thank you. Who painted the cornerstone of high Renaissance art? in the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Oh! That was my great 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 grandfather Leonardo da Vinci. No, that was Michael Jackson. He's my favorite artist. Then go away, it was Michelangelo. Okay, which is the style used in painting during the Renaissance? <gasps> buzz, buzz, buzz. It was abstract, like graffiti, and they would put it on castles. I think it's nature, nature. Actually, it was naturalism because that's when they used balance, proportion, and perspective. What were the three types of plays during Renaissance theater? Oh, I think that was Broadway, Off-Broadway, and Hamilton, right? No, it was high school, local, and college. <laughs> no, it was tragedy, comedy, and pastoral. The next question is, who was the most influential architectural theorist during the Renaissance? Oh, that's easy. George Washington. No, I think it was Gustave Eiffel. Oh. You guys, it was Leon Baptiste Albert. A fairy knight and fairest Tanaquil, whom the most noble Brighton Prince so long sought through the world and suffered so much ill. It was obviously Alexander Hamilton with the Reynolds pamphlet. Actually, I think it was Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. I think this is The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer. And the final question is, can you name this song? Cindy, what an idiot.